I'm going to ask a question now, and I don't want to know what your opinion is on it. Text marketing. It's obviously your phone is, well, it's the future. Of, yeah. um, you've got everything in your hand, especially for advertisers. Mm -hmm. it's, it's attention that mm -hmm. they have, well, they're going to be fine for over the yeah. next 20 years and getting on, on your phone somehow. So text marketing, I've been getting a few texts from people like Argos maybe. Yeah. Um, very, I'll get texts off them a mm -hmm. fair amount. What's your opinion on, on it and the future of it? I think now people are using so much, they're using chatbots, they're using email, that people forget the old mm. It's going full circle, isn't it? Yeah. I was having a conversation with my dad it. about this, yeah, about how I was just, I try so hard to generate leads via video, generate leads via online ways, but when I actually sit down and think where, where my money's come from, well, some like a majority of it, it is just face-to-face -face meetings. The old, the old, oh, how are you doing? You want a coffee? Yeah. <laughs> and do you know what? You can say that on a text. How are you? Yeah. How many businesses ask how their clients are? How many businesses send thank you cards? Do you ever get a thank you card? No, but I do send all my clients do a box what? of chocolates. <laughs> a thank you card, a business owner I know does it. Yeah. A thank you card with a chocolate bar in it. Yeah. And do you know what? That goes, goes a long way. A long way. Yeah. So how many of how many business owners actually now think about using Royal Mail, using the post? Because getting a, a, a postcard or a thank you card land on the doorstep. It's not expensive either. There's really no reason not no. to do it. You can but, knock them out in like a day. Exactly, but that'll get recognised mm. to the email that might get lost in the email yeah. chain. So I think it's thinking out of the box nowadays because Everybody goes for chatbots now. Everybody goes chatbots for... Chatbots are cool. They're yeah, every, cool. Go, everyone goes for email. Mm. Um, that they actually, re you know, we are on our phone. But do you know what? We're humans. We still live in the human world. We still have actions. We still, you know, get home and pick the post up. Yeah. So we still have actions. And because we don't get bombarded with leaflets anymore, because There's we don't, gap there. Gap we don't really get it. junk mail, yeah. because people realise that actually junk mail isn't necessarily yeah. the way to go there's now a gap in the market so i always think when you're marketing and if you've got a small budget think about things that are going to be able to reach the client so don't always be thinking about reaching new clients remember if you've got 10 clients your business might only ever need 10 clients isn't if you it? look after those 10 clients yeah it's like eight times isn't it like uh, eight times the amount of money to get a new client than it is to Oh, keep a client. to keep a client. Yeah. But people forget about keeping clients. Yeah. They forget about, actually, if you look after a client, they'll be here in 10 years. Mm. If you don't look after clients, you've got to go a long way to get a new client, a new client, yeah, a new yeah, client. So, you know, looking out. And it's simple things like saying thank you, ringing up to just, you know, if they forgot an appointment, it might be not be like because they're autumn just because they forgot. You know, it might be actually they have forgot mm. or something's happened. So a little curtsy phone call. You know, makes them realise that you're you're you care about your client. You know, and I think I think businesses forget about that now because we're all in the world of getting new clients, getting new clients. What we do, we you know, it's a big thing for 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 companies. Got to be on Facebook, got to be on Instagram. No, no. But you forget that you can actually sit back and go, what can I do to look after mm. my clients? Well, my my business is built on previous clients. I'd say seventy five percent of my work. Obviously, they've come from somewhere originally, people per hour um, originally, when I, I started that years ago and got a load of reviews, met them there, and then we work together now. But that's like five years, four yeah. years, five years, and every year they spend a bit more. Yeah, and, and every year, yeah, and every year we get to know each other a bit better. As their business grows, my business grows. Exactly. And it's, Exactly. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's the trust looking, thing, isn't it? It is the trust. And I think that's where with like my business, where I'm growing my treatments. But do you know what? I've got the same clients that grow with my treatments. So they've great, had yeah, one treatment. Great. I grow another yeah. one. They respect that I've grown another one. They know that I've built it because of them. They stay with me. So do you know what? Those are the clients that I want to look after because when I evolve the business to the next bit, they'll come with me. Well, you're constantly solving their problem till till the day they, they stop. Yeah, because they'll always have it. a problem. Yeah. If they've had a problem with it at the beginning, yeah. they might not have that problem, but they'll have a new one and your business will be able to deliver that answer. Yeah. So you just, they evolve with you. So, you know, I think look after your customer. Spend money on your customer and think out of the box nowadays because it's the things out of the box that make you different to the competitor next door. Great advice. Thank you.